Benny Johnson here from the Supreme Court. With the passing of RBG, there has been a vacancy on the court. If that seat is indeed filled by conservatives, then the left has promised, altogether promised, that they will be in favor of court packing. This is a huge issue. This would absolutely undo the constitutional groundings of the court. What do people think about court packing? Do people think there should be nine justices or 12, maybe 20, maybe 50 justices? But one side of the aisle the left is very interested in making sure that this building gets a huge build out. Let's talk to people today and see what they think about packing the Supreme Court. Let's go find out. Big story right now, biggest in the country, maybe, depending on what you're reading, is about court packing. Should we increase the size of the Supreme Court? What do you think about that? Probably not, because um, that could turn around to bite us in the butt, depending on which side of us <laughs> you are. Yeah, so I'm probably not totally in favor of that. But all I can say is no, 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 no. Should the Supreme Court be packed? What do you think about that? Um, I'm opposed to it. They're just trying to find ways to change the rules because these guys who want to pack the court, they're never going to get their stuff passed by the people. This is straight up cheating. Libs are saying if conservatives get to appoint another justice, then we'll just court pack. What do you think about that? Uh, I think uh, it's unfair, and I think it's corruption, basically. I don't know, 12, 50, 100 justices? Who's to say? Do you agree with that? Absolutely not. Inconceivable! Let's say it was the other way around, right? They, you would never hear a word out of it from the liberals. And conservatives would not want to be doing that because, you know, more fair, more morals. You see, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke dropped at the first sign of trouble. The big debate is whether we should court pack, meaning add a bunch more justices to the court. Court packing is absolutely in the interest of everything that hates America. Okay, hey, look at this. All right, we got consensus. Baby, it's consensus, baby. John. We got consensus. Look at this. Finally, it's finally an episode where both the left and the right agree. I don't think this has ever happened before. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Enjoy, have a good time. Look at this, look at this, John. I don't travel in style like this. Look at this. What the hell is that thing? I'm um, looking around and I look up there and I see nine figures, right? Those nine people are supposed to, rent to represent the nine Supreme Court justices. And when that building went up and those nine were built, they were meant to stay there. They were not meant to be added and they were not meant to be um, minimalized. That's why they're set in stone. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. What they are trying to do is do what every other communist dictator and everybody else in a small third world country has done is pack the courts so that they have their influence from the executive branch of their own executive branch so that they can control all the areas of government. It's a great tragedy. You know, I wish you would just come out and say, I'm going to pack it. You know, be honest, you know, yeah. instead of dodging the question. Two debates now and they've dodged the question. Yeah. You know? Yep. And so, which only tells me that they're going to pack it if they win. So we're going to do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? I mean, look, it's been 160 years or however many. Yeah. So we need to keep the same, you know, uh, uh, rules of the game. Yeah. Right. I mean, just adding, uh, they, if the Democrats lose, they need to wait for the next term. The court isn't there to write laws. The courts are there to uphold the law. Absolutely. And so if you're court packing, that means that you view it as a legislative body. Right. Right? right. Yeah. yeah. They're not They're not policy makers. They're there to interpret the, the, the laws. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, that's the problem with the court these days. It's like you've got, you've got judges who are acting like legislators, trying to come up with their interpretation of what the law should be instead of what the actual, the way Congress or the way the legislative body had written it. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. This is the hundred senators and however many you know you know people in a in a, in a house. I mean it, it, it's their talk. You know people really not even talking about packing the court. It is coming out of there. I love how woke it is in here right now. Here at the Supreme Court, court packing not very popular. We talked to people on the right, we talked to people on the left, we talked to people today and not a single person said, hey, 
make as many justices as you want. Just duplicate the black robes. We've got plenty of cloth. Just keep making black robes. Not a single person said it. Every person said, hey, listen, this can cut both ways, and this is the way it's been for hundreds of years. Keep it nine. We need nine. That's what everyone was saying. What do you think at home? Let us know in the comment section. This has been Benny at the Supreme Court. Benny on the block. I'll see you next week. Hey, it's Benny Johnson here, Turning Point USA's Chief Creative Officer. If you like this video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel and never miss an episode. See you guys next week.